What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be doing a blind beer battle between Natural Light and Michelob Ultra. This video is for Jonathan McLeod. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Dude, sorry if I butchered your name just then, but this video is for Jonathan. He had requested me to do Natural Light versus Michelob Ultra, and that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. Natural Light's been on a tear recently, winning everything. It beat out Keystone Light. It beat out uh, Milwaukee's Best Light, and uh, we're going to see if it can beat out the Superior Light beer, Michelob Ultra. Real quick, before we get into this, I just want to talk about the prices of these beers. You can get a 15-pack of Natural Light for $10.73 here at my local Walmart. Okay, that's the 12-ounce cans, not the 16-ounce. A 15-pack of 12-fluid-ounce cans for $10.73. A 12-pack of 12-fluid-ounce cans of Michelob Ultra is $14.73. You're talking about a $4 difference for less beer. Something rubs me the wrong way there. I, I can't I can't get behind that. That that's absolutely ridiculous. Four dollar difference, and you get three less beers. Because they think they're the superior light beer. But we'll see if that's true. We'll see if it can beat natural light tonight. Both beers are coming in at 4.2% ABV. And as always, we have two glasses. One glass has tape on the bottom. That one's gonna signify the natural light with the one that doesn't have is going to be the Michelob Ultra. So we will go ahead and pour up the Natural Light first. Try to get it in there without producing too much head. I don't want to be sitting here for 15 minutes waiting on that to die down. All right. 16 ounces of good old Michelob, oh, I'm, or good old natural light. Now, I gotta try to match that pour with the 25 fluid ounce can. Definitely tell that it's lighter in color just, just by pouring it out. Okay, a little more. Tad bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, so we got them both poured up. Now we're gonna mix these up. I'm gonna close my eyes. You can definitely see there's a slight color difference. The Michelob Vulture is way well, not way, but it's less uh, less yellow than the natural light. So I'm going to close my eyes. We're going to mix these up, and we're going to get into this and see if Michelob Ultra really is the, the superior light beer, at least when it comes against natural light. Closing my eyes, and we will start mixing, 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 mixing. Get these nice and mixed up. That way we cannot tell the difference. Can't tell which beer is which. Really, really excited about this one. See, I've been doing revisits of my beer battles. This one, this one's not a revisit. I've never done this one. So I'm really curious to see how it pans out. All right, I think those are mixed up plenty. I'm going to now taste one of the beers and the beer that I'm gonna go for tonight, I think I'm gonna go with beer number two here on my left. I usually go with the one on the right because I'm right-handed, but we'll go with the left one tonight. So beer, Technically beer number one, but beer two. Cheers. Okay. Smooth. Crisp. Clean and refreshing as always on these light beers. A little bit of a sweetness on the back end. Decent light beer. Beer one, I guess. Cheers. Mm. 
Interesting. Excuse me. Not a whole lot of difference uh, over here. Actually, yeah, this one's almost drier. This one's sweeter. Man, that's where it gets difficult. Like this one seems like, I don't know, it, this one has less sweetness to it. Maybe a little less flavor as well. This one seems to have a little bit more flavor. Man, I don't know. Excuse me. Once we once you go back and forth on these, it gets a little bit more difficult. These are both made by Anheuser Busch, by the way. Both at 4.2% ABV. Uh, and they both kind of taste the same right now. Man, these are closer. These are so close. It, 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 it's blowing my mind how close these are. Like you could almost tell me that these are the same beer and I'd believe you. Okay. Let me try to figure this out. Step one, we're gonna try to figure out which beer's which, and then I'm gonna decide which one I like the best, but the problem with that is they're both decent. And this one seems like just not as much sweetness on the finish. Man. I think they're both good. They're both good beers. Um, as to which one I like the best, God, that's a fucking hard question right now. I mean, do I want a drier finish? Do I want a sweeter finish? What do I want? That's what it's coming down to. Okay, let me let me just. Try this again. This is this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, there's like almost no sweetness at all on the back end of that one. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think, I think beer number one is Michelob Ultra and beer number two is Natural Light. And I think I may slightly, ever so slightly prefer the sweeter finish on this beer, which I believe is Natural Light. I'm gonna open my eyes and I'm gonna see if I'm right. No. The beer with the sweeter finish is actually Michelob Ultra. Meaning that Michelob Ultra has just defeated Natural Light. But the thing is, the thing is, God, that's a hard, this one's, these are too similar. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. I am in disbelief right now that Natural Light just lost to the overpriced, superior light beer, Michelob Ultra. But not even, not even, it's not even worth talking about. I wanted to give these a tie. I wanted to. 
but I don't really like to do ties. I like to decide which beer is which. And the only reason that one won is because I felt like it had a sweeter finish to it. But the thing is, going back and forth on these, it becomes increasingly difficult. They taste almost exactly the same. I'll taste them both right now. And see, that time I tasted them, and that one seemed like it had less flavor than that. I don't know. I don't know. I can't go back on my word. Michelob Ultra won, technically, but you're not going to see me paying four, $4 more, over $14 for a 12-pack when I can get this for $10.73 for a 15-pack. So it's $4 cheaper, and you get three more beers. It's a no-brainer here, folks. These are almost the same beer. There's even a better, or even though it's slight, there's a better head retention over here on the natural light. The uh, natural light has a better aroma for sure. It's a better looking beer. This is the I'm I'm really thinking hard now. Yeah, as these warm up. I mean. It doesn't really taste like much. And still, that this one is now tasting better to me. As these are warming up, I'm liking the flavor of Natural Light more than I am Michelob Ultra. So, I don't know what to do in this situation. I... I wanted to just call it a draw because they they taste almost identical until now, and that's I don't I don't believe that's just because I know which one is which. As these are warming up, there's more f flavor notes coming out. That has more flavor. I'm sorry, but it does. That has more flavor. I'm sorry. Natural Light is the better tasting beer to me. I know I said Natural. I know I said Michelob Ultra One. But the thing is, this is my channel, and I can make the decisions as I see fit. And I cannot sit here and honestly tell you that Michelob Ultra tastes better than Natural Light, even though I just said that Michelob Ultra was the winner. I can't, I can't do that because it doesn't, to, to right now, it does not taste better than natural light and I am being dead honest and it is not, I can already see somebody saying in the comments, you, well, you only said that because you didn't want Michelob Ultra to win and natural light's the beer you buy all the time. So you wanted natural light to win. So now that you know which beer's which, you're going to pick natural light. Not the case. I'm going by taste. And to me, this one is the one that I like the, the flavor of more. They are very close in flavor, but the natural light to me is the better tasting beer. I'm sorry, but it is. So, this is a controversial... Controversial? controversial beer battle between Michelob Ultra and Natural Light. Michelob Ultra was ruled the winner. However, further inspection of these beers has led me to do a recount, if you will. 
there's a little bit of false information. Because Michelob Ultra is not winning this battle. I saw the replay, all right? I watched the replay and we ruled this. We're going back. I was wrong. Natural Light is your winner. Not only, not only because it tastes better than Michelob Ultra, but because it's $4 cheaper and you get three more beers. I can't believe anybody would buy that stuff. I guess it's uh, for people who want to be fancy or whatever. They want to act like they're the superior person drinking their superior light beer. There's nothing superior about this beer, folks. Try it for yourself. Tell me what you think. It's not superior in any shape or form. It's superior. It Well, it, it has a superior... Superior price. $14.73 for a 12-pack, but you can get a friggin' 15-pack of the same thing, pretty much, for $4 cheaper. So, I'm going with Natural Light all day. You guys can tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and uh, we can discuss it there. But Natural Light's the winner. Do I think Michelob Ultra is a bad beer? No, I do not. I do not think Michelob Ultra is a bad beer. I think it's fine for what it is. The problem is the price. And to me, it just does not taste as good as Natural Light. It's fine for what it is, but the price should be way cheaper. That is absolutely ridiculous. And them saying it's a superior light beer... Kind of rubs me the wrong way because it's not. In my opinion, it's not. So, will I drink the rest of it? Of course. I bought it. I paid for it. Of course I'm going to drink it. Will I enjoy it? Absolutely. It's a, it's a beer. I enjoy beer. I like light beer. It's a good, it's still a good, it's still a good beer. I'm not saying that it's a bad beer. I'm going to stop ran ranting now. And we're going to end this beer battle. But I am going to say that Natural Light wins again. I know, it's an upset. I know that Michelob Ultra was originally chosen as the winner. But, however, I went back and tasted these again, and it, it's just not the case. Really, the only reason I picked it is because I thought it had a little bit more sweetness at the time, and I didn't want to call these a draw. However, I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, until next time, cheers, and thanks for watching.